Do you want to create a free business email address for your business? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a free business email address and use it with Gmail for absolutely free. So before we get started with this tutorial, it is very important for you to have a domain name and then a hosting account. So this is what is going to enable us to create this free business email address. So if you don't have any of those, you can check the link in the description below to purchase your domain and then a hosting account for an affordable price. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So a business email address is a professional email address that um, you can use to make people trust your business the more. So instead of carrying a generic name that's like as gmail.com, it's going to carry your domain name. So it's going to be like um, something like um, the WP Brew. Okay, don't let me use that. It can be like eben at the WP Brew.com. So it's going to be a professional email address. So to create that email address, if you already have a domain and then a hosting account, what you need to do is log into your cPanel um through your hosting accounts and then there are some hosting accounts that uh, that enables you to create that email address right from your dashboard for for this tutorial we're going to create it from our cpanel so we're going to log into cpanel now so while we're here um inside cpanel dashboard we're going to see this option that says email accounts and this is what i want to click on so here you can see the list of the emails i have and if you don't have any you want to create an email address so we're just going to click on create okay so create an email account which domain do you want to create the email account for so i'm going to choose this domain name what is the username i want to use so it can be something like support it can be hello it can be anything so i'm just going to use um eben let me just use my name eben and then i'm going to set the password okay now moving on we can just click on create and congratulations you have successfully created a business email address for your company for, or for your business so one thing we need to do now is that we need to enable we need to be able to send emails from these email accounts using our gmail app we don't want to log into your webmail every time you need to send a message so how can we do that let's jump right into that aspect real quick so we're going to open our gmail accounts now okay we are now inside our gmail um dashboard we need to come down to settings and then we need to click on see all settings Okay, so in the settings tab, we need to click on this account and imports. Okay, so here we, we need to add our email address under this um, send as option in your account and import settings. So we're going to add another email address. So you can give it a name, whatever name you want this email address to carry. You can give it your business name. So let's just say, um, let me just say eBay just for the sake of this tutorial. And then the email address is going to be something like eben at coinsense.com.ng and also you're going to make sure this option is checked treat as a liars so we're going to click on next step okay now to get these details we need to go back to our cpanel and then open the email address we created so this is it we're going to check this email and then we're going to just open this um, email account Okay, so right here we're going to receive a client configuration settings email. So this is what we need. This is our username. It is the same as um, our email address. So we're just going to copy it and then come down here and paste it here. Okay, it says okay. This is our SMT. This is our username rather. So the SMTP server is going to. This is our um, SMTP server mail.coinsign.com.ng. So we're going, to, we're going to copy that and then we're going to paste it under the smtp server option so the password is the uh, mother password we created the other time for the email account so i'm just going to impute it right now and here we're going to change the port to 465 and then we need to add accounts okay so it said a code has been added the verification code has been sent to this email address so we're going to refresh this okay so we've received the code here okay there's another thing i'm going to show you in this tutorial um emails that are sent to these email accounts can't be seen in our gmail account in our in our gmail app so i'm going to show you how you can forward emails that have been sent to this email address to your gmail account to your other gmail um address that you might have so i'm going to show you that in the next step so what we're, what we're going to do now is to copy this code and then we're going to come back to this um section here and then we're going to paste this code here and click on verify so we successfully verified our email address and we are now ready to start sending emails using this um, email address right in our right in our dashboard for gmail so if you should click on compose 
we should be able to select let me expand this we should be able to select this email from our gmail app so let me just close this tab right now and then show you how you can set a forwarder okay so back in our C panel we are going to see this option that says forwarder so what this is going to do is that any email that is being sent to a particular email address on your website or your on your email account on your website is going to send that same copy of email to another email address of your choice that we're going to choose here so you can now decide to reply from your gmail address in your gmail app or your gmail web app version so what we're going to do is to click on add forwarder and here we're going to choose the email we just created which is eben at coinsense.com.ng and then we're going to choose a destination email address so it's going to be advisable for us to choose the email that we set as a liars for this email address so which is this email address i have here so one thing i'm going to do now is to add forwarder okay so it said all emails sent to eben at coinsense.com.ng will now be copied to coinsense at gmail.com so let's see how that works now i'm going to open another um, gmail account that i have and i'm going to send an email to this email address and we're going to see whether it's going to be copied to this email address so let's check that right now okay so i'm inside another um, gmail account that i have and i'm going to click on compose all right so i'm going to send an email from um to eben at coinsense.com.ng and the subject is just going to be testing so the body um the body can also be anything like testing email server and we're going to click on send okay it said message sent now let's check our gmail app to see whether we receive the message now we refresh okay it can take a while um if we just connected everything but as you can see we received this um email address or we received this email rather receive this email the other time even without setting up a forwarder but it is advisable for you to set up a forwarder so you should be able to receive emails without you know losing track of all your emails that have been sent to your address so we're just going to wait for a few minutes okay so i had to redo the process of adding a forwarder all over again so that this thing could um work so as you can see the email has been sent to our inbox so we can open up the email and then we can reply as we can reply as um let me just show you right now we can reply as this email address that we just created our business email address that we just created right now and we can just say we can just reply and say um hello and then we can send it and the email is going to be sent from our business email address which is right here so this is how you can create a free business email address and use it um with your gmail account for free without using any money whatsoever so thank you for watching this video if you really enjoyed this video make sure to like this video if you have any questions or any video suggestions for me make sure to drop it down in the comment section down below and if you want to see more awesome contents like this don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also turn on post notifications so you'll be notified anytime i release a new video so until my next video peace